Uh, this one from uh, Lexington87. Can you share some advice on how to get through the consumerist nightmare that is buying a GPU? Does it really matter if I get the Zotac 4080, which is £400 cheaper than the ASUS ROG 4080 Extreme Edition, or the Gigabyte Venus? Is it Venus? OC Maximus Overdrive 4080. Is it all just <laughs> is it is it all just the same? Or should it be carefully considered and reviewed? So that yeah, I mean, beneath the levity, there is a there is a point here that the um the AIB board manufacturers are essentially strapping on these gigantic coolers onto um onto slabs of silicon that don't actually need this sort of extreme cooling, specifically with uh, the Ada Lovelace chips, which are ultra efficient relative to their performance right. to begin with. And uh, and then you look at the NVIDIA, um, the NVIDIA uh, Founders Editions, which are actually quietly refined and really nice looking uh, boards that are generally not galactic in size. Any thoughts on this one, Alex? I'm just thinking that, um, I mean, we don't review all of these different third-party offerings, but a lot of sites out there do. do that. Yeah, so, and, and generally speaking, there doesn't appear from my perspective to be much in the way of performance differentials. Probably there are in terms of temperatures, but probably not once you start going down to 4070 yeah. Ti and lower. Yeah, for me, it's just like, look at the things that matter to you. Like, are do you care about like, how quiet a card is maybe that's something to look into more specifically and also i don't know how this is covered in most other gpu reviews of these aib cards but also looking at like what is their rma like what is the customer service issue like and you can find that more in like user reviews online or experience reviews on forums and stuff like that so those are important things to me nowadays how quiet a card is and how, how like if it breaks do you, are you actually in really big trouble or are they going to help you so yeah anything to add to that uh john <laughs> no i'm just bored talking about it i'm as bored as the variety <laughs> those of those boards like i i i don't really care that much about this it's just like i think most of those third-party cards look terrible they're like gigantic they have <laughs> stupid huge coolers on them it's like uh if you yeah. get some really sleek designs in there, I'd that would, I'd rather have that. But you know, love those sleek designs. Yeah, I, and like you said, the Founders Edition cars from Nvidia, I just uh, those are the best looking cards. <laughs> Usually, like the, the the very cool design. Uh, I guess the only thing that would be better would be like I don't know one of those water cool solutions because the actual PCB is pretty small in there, right? You could uh, right. get a nice water cooler hooked up to it, and that could look pretty cool. But mm. whatever, that would be nice. I think, uh, from my perspective, the issue is that you know these uh, coolers are de designed for like gigantic levels of overclocking, and you know pretty much since the Pascal generation onwards, um, overclocking has been done for you by the card itself. So the actual returns you get from overclocking are actually rather rather low, and you know, up right. five to ten percent. Are you going to, uh, are you going to notice the difference? You'll certainly notice the difference on power consumption, I would imagine. Things are a bit more difficult or rather um, nuanced on AMD where, you know, there's undervolting and whatnot that's happening there that people are actually getting some pretty substantial performance returns and efficiency savings for doing so. But yeah, I don't know. The, the 4080 side of things that's, you know, I, I just still can't recommend the 4080 at the moment. It's galactically expensive. Uh, to to right. the point where you know if you if you're talking about the Asus ROG forty eighty, um, you know I, I'd much rather be spending a little bit more money and getting the Founders Edition forty ninety.